Welcome back to the time of your life. I'm your host, Ethel Rasmussen. Being active is critical to your mental and physical health as well as successful aging. Our last segment of today's show features Carolyn Cook, wellness specialist at the Baltimore County Department of Aging, who shares the many options available at Baltimore County Senior Centers. Carolyn, welcome to the show. Thank you, Ethel. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. A new year inspires so many of us Mm -hmm. to consider or perhaps start a fitness program to improve overall health and support successful aging. Can you share information about the many programs BCDA provides? Absolutely, Ethel. But let me start by saying the new year represents a new beginning. And that's for every one of us, no matter what our age is. So a lot of us go into a new year making resolutions with some kind of lifestyle change. And that lifestyle change may include physical activity. It may include an exercise program. So first and foremost, please consult with your physician before starting any exercise program and get that go ahead from them. So the Department of Aging at the Senior Centers, we offer so many programs, such a wide variety. It might be a Zumba Gold class. And that group exercise class, it's a salsa kind of dancey, fun program with great music. You've got people surrounding you, so it's a lot of fun and it's great exercise. Or it might be a yoga or a chair yoga program. And this is going to promote mental health as well as physical health. Right? Um, It might be line dancing. It might be a strength training class. So we really offer classes for every everything for physical fitness okay on top of that we offer evidence-based programs and evidence-based programs have been rigorously tested in controlled settings proven effective and translated into practical models that are available to community-based organizations and i think We'll touch on that a little more. I think Laura talked about it last last week, too. In, indeed. Um, our previous segment, Laura, introduced evidence-based programming. However, as an instructor, I think you have a unique perspective. So if you could yeah. share some of the benefits you've heard from participants who have completed their programs. Yes, yes. It's, it's incredible. <clears throat> so many of our participants join our evidence-based programs because they have a very specific need. It might be learning to walk properly again. So maybe after a surgery or after a fall or whatever it might be that they need to get up and they need to get moving properly again. Um, It may be to improve their posture as I sit up taller. (laughs) Um, It may be Um, improving their stability to prevent falls and prevent injury. Or it might be just improving their overall physical health. So when participants come into our evidence-based programs, we do a baseline assessment. And this baseline assessment really shows us where they are in in their life and their lifestyle and, and in their needs to improve their activities of daily living. So as we go through the program as instructors, we know what their baseline is. And as instructors, we see their progress. But when we stop and we ask them, how are you feeling? How do you feel like you're improving? And then we hear from them that, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm able to walk farther. I'm able to walk a mile. I'm able to keep up with my grandchildren. I mean, how beautiful is that? I'm able to travel again. So when we talk about um, seniors and being social, and sometimes they, they isolate, but being able to get out and travel again, um, to hear that their joints don't hurt anymore because the exercise that they've been doing is building up stability in those joints. Um, to hear that their mobility is so much better, that they're, they're getting up and out of bed easier and that they can get out of, out of the chair 
without assistance, or maybe they're not using their walker anymore, whatever it might be. Um, a big one is when they say, I'm not, I, I'm not afraid to go out for a walk and, and I'm not afraid that I'm going to fall. So, um, and the social aspect of it is just tremendous. So as an instructor to, oh my goodness, to um, see and hear from them that what they're doing has improved their life so tremendously is, is just beyond amazing. Those are wonderful yeah. outcomes. Let's switch gears to talk about BCDA's fitness centers and studios. What is the cost to join, available equipment, and what is needed to participate? So um, we, in, in BCDA, we have 14 centers. So eight of them are fitness centers. Six of them are fitness studios. Now the difference between a fitness center and a fitness studio. The fitness center is a larger space, has a little bit more equipment, not necessarily a, a whole lot, but the fitness studio is a smaller center. But each of them provide everything that an in individual needs for uh, recommended exercise from ACSM, which is the American Council of Sports Medicine. So it's recommended that we do cardiovascular work. So all of our centers have treadmills and they have recumbent bikes and we have new steps. We, we have everything you need for cardiovascular work. Uh, and all of the centers as well have equipment to, to, to do total body strength training. Okay. So we look at, we have strength training and, uh, and, and strength like muscle endurance. So we have all the machines and all the fitness centers and all of the fitness studios to work out the entire body, all of the major muscle groups. So that's really great. So the cost for a fitness studio is, oh my gosh, a nominal, a very nominal $100 per year. And the cost for the fitness studio is $60 per year. So that's just phenomenal. When you join a fitness center, you can use all the fitness centers in Baltimore County. When you join a fitness studio, you can use all the fitness studios. So it's just a phenomenal program that we have in our centers. Carolyn, Baltimore County Senior Centers also offer personal training services. Can you talk about this wonderful option, your services, pricing, and how to connect if you're interested? Absolutely. So all of our trainers are nationally certified through an accredited organization. So that's really key. Not every st state in the United States requires that a personal trainer be certified through an accredited organization. Here at BCDA, all of our trainers are. So anyone looking for that expertise can be sure that they're going to have someone quality working with them and passionate, by the way. Um, so we have several programs with the personal training. We have the Get Ready, Get Set, Get Fit program. And this is a great program for people starting out. So the cost for this is $130. And this includes three hours with a personal trainer. And that can be broken up into half hour segments you work individually with your trainer, so no situation looks the same. We're here to help you meet your goals, whatever they might be, all right? Um, then we have a, another program that is $50. So we do an assessment with you, and then we set up an individualized exercise program with you, all right? So based on your assessment, we set up a program just for you. Uh, then we offer, I'm sorry, Ethel, um, we do offer one hour personal training sessions um, and we offer half hour personal training sessions. So really, whatever your need is, we can work with you. Excellent. And the question I'm sure is on the mind of many of our viewers, how would they connect if they're interested? So absolutely. If you go to your senior center 
and you can connect with it at their front deck desk at the reception desk um, and they'll have someone come talk with you you can talk with the monitor in the fitness center and they can connect you with someone but just get to your senior center check it out and we'll definitely connect with you wonderful motivation to continue exercising mm -hmm. is so important in those initial few weeks what are your recommendations it that is so critical because we all go into things like this with the best intentions, right? And before you know it, and all of us know with the New Year's resolutions, before you know it, it's like, oh boy, well, that didn't work, now what do I do? So it's so key to make sure that you have someone holding your hand, whether that be a family member, a friend, um, or a trainer, or a, a neighbor, Join the senior center with someone you know so that you you have to show up, not just for yourself, but for that other person, right? right? And so, yeah, just that partnership, that camaraderie, that um, we're doing this together because, you know, we're always better together. Very true. Carolyn, any final remarks you would like to add? I. Uh, this BCDA just in the senior centers just have so much to offer and there's no excuse not to go and walk in and just see what they have. I mean, beyond, um, you know, our fitness centers and our exercise programs, there's so much more that's available. And I'm, t I'm telling you, I can't wait to be a senior. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for taking time from your wow. busy Thank schedule. You. I I know the information you've shared will serve as a motivation for our viewers. I hope so. Excellent. That's today's show. Thank you for spending time with us. Please remember you can call the Department of Aging's information line called Maryland Access Point of Baltimore County or MAP at 410-887-2594 with questions pertaining to older adults and persons with disabilities. This show may also be viewed anytime on the internet at www baltimorecountymd.gov slash videos with open captioning. That brings us to the conclusion of this edition of The Time of Your Life, a National Mature Media Award winner about the services and contemporary topics that keep you in the know. Until next time.